Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. One of the questions that we get asked quite often is, what options do I have when it comes to assembling power grip tool holders? Well, let's spend some time and show you what options we have. The main option that we have for pressing tools in and pulling them out is the PGU Automatic. Now, we have spent a lot of time on this in other videos, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot here. The basics though, push button operation, easy to change dies, very little operator involvement. For more information on the PGU, please refer back to some of our older tech chats. So now, let's move over to the hand pump. We haven't spent much time there, so let's go across the room. The PGC Power Grip Hand Pump Unit is our alternative to using the PGU Automatic. It is, by nature and by name, it's much, much smaller and does involve some operator involvement having to use the pump and rotate the head for in and out positions. The hand pump is available to operate for PG6, our smallest PG series, up through PG25. It is not able to handle the pressure required for PG32, so for those larger operations, you will have to use the PGU automatic system. So let's take a few moments and show you how this works. So let's set up the PGC to operate with a PG25 tool. I have my tool holder and a collet assembly here. I have my PGC insert. So let's go through the process of putting the insert in and showing you what it looks like to press a tool fully in. On top of the head, I have an out and an in logo and I can rotate between my different functions by pulling the pin in the back of the head and rotating it to in or out very easy to uh, select which system you are using. I'm going to start off with the head in the out position because that is the easiest way to insert the inserts. Now, all of the inserts are labeled with an outside and an inside that matches up to the logo on top of the head for out and in. This makes sure that when you put these in, they are in the right orientation. And they go in fairly easily, line them up, press them in, and they snap right in. Not very difficult to do that. So what's it look like when we go through and do a real assembly with this? Let's take a few moments and show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the head over to the inside, pull the pin, rotate the head, and on top of the head it now says in. Now when I open up the head, I can take my CAT40 PG25 tool assembly, and I can set that into the head of the machine, and you can see, just like the PGU automatic, it is suspended by the big groove on top of the, the PG series, and the taper type does not matter. So if you have HSK machines, or CAT machines, or CAPTO machines, you really don't have to worry about different adapters, it's all PG series based. I simply close the head unit when I'm ready. I move over to the pump itself. I close the valve and I start pumping. Now, this is where operator involvement comes in. Obviously, I'm using the pump itself, but I also have to watch the gauge on the head to make sure I only go to the correct PG series. In this case, it's PG25. And here, there it is. I can release it my tool is now pressed in and ready for operation. To remove the tool from the tool holder, you just reverse the process, rotate the head to the out position, put the tool holder back in, and operate the pump to PG25 pressure again. Very simple and easy to use. Well, we've covered a lot of stuff on the PGC unit, but we haven't shown you how it goes together. Let's do that next. When you receive your PGC unit, what do you receive with it? Well, you receive the PGC head unit, which is the hydraulic press portion. You receive the back stand for, to hold the head, and you receive the hand pump insert of your choice. 
and a screwdriver to allow you to change those inserts easily. So let's go through the process of putting it together. It's really easy to make this assembly. Simply grab the PGC head, which has grooves on it. These grooves will line up with the channel in the back of the backstop and slide it together. All the weight is supported by the backstop, so you don't have to worry about anything additional there. The hand pump itself has a quick snap hydraulic fitting that goes right onto the back of the head. It's just that simple and we've already shown you how to put the insert in. All I have to do now is operate the valve and hand pump accordingly for the PG series being used. If you have any questions at all on the PGC or the PGU automatic, please contact us. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And again, thank you for your time today.